Société Générale, one of the largest European financial services groups, reports full-year results for 2022. Frédéric Goudia, hello and welcome. Hello, thank you. You are the CEO of Société Générale. How did the group perform over the last quarter and more generally over the year 2022? Well, actually, the fourth quarter is the 10th quarter in a row of strong performances of our businesses. And it concludes a very successful uh, and intense 2022 year. We've been able to uh, post very strong performances for the full year in all our businesses with a strong growth of our revenues. We were able to control our costs. So we have a progress in our efficiency, operational efficiency. The cost of risk uh, stayed at a low level, 28 basis points in the fourth quarter, as well as for the full year. That reflects the good quality of the credit portfolio with still a prudent provisioning. And all in all, we are posting a record underlying net profit of uh, 5.6 billion euro for the year. We have, of course, in the published uh, uh, results, the impact of the disposal of uh, Russia, our subsidiary in Russia. We were able to adapt quickly to this uh, extraordinary uh, uh, volatile geopolitical environment. And all in all, we are presenting a very strong balance sheet with a strong quarter one ratio. And again, a, a lot of hard work to build very robust foundations uh, during the year uh, in 2022 for the bank. So how did your various businesses perform? Well, let's start with the French retail. Uh, good commercial dynamism, good commercial performance, commissions which are growing. Of course, still the impact uh, in the net interest margin of the specificities of the French market in such a, a, a specific environment where interest rates are going up very quickly, very brutally. We have the impact, negative impact of certain mechanisms which are specific to the French retail. We have, uh, of course, pursued the merger of our two French networks, so it was a very intense uh, year for our, for our staff. In international retail, we benefit much more, of course, of the increase of interest rate in Central Eastern Europe, so very strong performances, as well as in, in Africa, where the economies did pretty well and we are growing with a profitable growth. We had spectacular record result in our mobility business, which grows and on top of that still benefit from this extraordinary situation on the uh, used car market where we can sell in a profitable way used cars. We had also very uh, strong results in insurance and, and, and leasing. And eventually for our wholesale businesses, both markets and financing, very strong performances in the fourth quarter, very strong performances for the full year. In global markets, we grew from a commercial perspective and on top of that, we manage very well the risk attached to this uncertain and volatile market environment. And on the financing, we had also very strong performances. On the back of our very strong expertise in infrastructure finance, in renewable finance, in the capacity to accompany our clients in their own journey, uh, and uh, both with advisory businesses and financing, and we've also very strong performance of, of our cash management business. So really, I would like to, to thank all the teams for the extraordinary uh, performances and the hard work of 2022 in a, as we all know, a difficult overall environment. Finally, could you elaborate on the progress made with your strategic initiatives and what are your priorities and prospects for 2023? Well, on top of all this hard work on our businesses, it's fair to say that we also made very strong progress and, and we had great achievements in a series of very important strategic projects. First, the merger of our two French uh, retail networks in our domestic market. The new bank, SG, exists still the 1st of January 2023 from a legal perspective. It's a reality. Now what we have just to, to complete is the IT migration, which will take place in the first half, to have this new bank up and running. Regarding Boursorama, fantastic uh, growth this year. Uh, uh, of course, we've also the partnership with ING. We conquered clients from, uh, from ING. 1.4 million new clients, a record figure, 4.7 million at the end of 2022. Fantastic uh, growth uh, engine. And beyond, beyond these uh, projects, uh, we have also, we are building uh, world leaders in the mobility sector with uh, the project to, for ILD to buy lease plan. We had key milestones, uh, successful milestones in 2022. 
And then we announced at the end of 2022 a joint venture with Allianz Bernstein to create a platform, a, an equity research platform, which will cover more than 1,000 corporates and which will enable us again to deal with investors and companies and be a very important leader in, in this business. So a lot of projects which will deliver fruits and will help us to grow in the coming years. Beyond those specific projects, needless to say, a, a very strong attention on everything regarding CSR, the uh, climate challenge and the energy transition. We raised our ambitions in terms of switching the portfolio, reducing our footprint in the fossil energy sector. We were able again to accompany our clients in their own trajectory and there was also a very strong progress in the training of our staff, which is also very important and that we will uh, pursue going forward. So a very intense year, which makes us confident going forward. And, and uh, I, I, we, we've confirmed our objectives for 2025 on the back of all these developments. We will reap uh, the fruits of uh, these different integrations and the creation of these platforms. And knowing that 2023 is a year of transition, of course, from a governance perspective, uh, Slavomir Krupa will take over me as the CEO of Société Générale at the end of May this year. Uh, also, I would say because we want to complete certain of these projects in the very few coming months, and I dedicate a lot of energy to this. And of course, from a financial perspective, still because we are going still to suffer from the certain negative impacts in the French market, uh, based on the, the specific mechanisms, for example, on the regulated savings with this increase of interest rate. And it will be the last year, for example, of our contribution to the constitution of the uh, European Single Resolution Fund, which, is, uh, which weighed so much on our profitability. So next year, uh, uh, the fund is, is there and we will have a, a much better uh, position from that perspective. So 2023 is a year of transition. We are embarking in this year with determination and confident with our perspective in the midterm. Frédéric Oudéa, thank you. You're welcome.